Jared Poland. Fronos Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom head-to-head -head edition where I have Steven. Steven, how's it going? It's going good. All right. It's brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. And if you want to follow all the 30 for 30 videos, head over to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. And if you haven't downloaded a free trial of Lightroom, well, go ahead and do that. So now, Steven, I think it's time to get editing. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Let's see what we're working with in this raw file. And we have... A person in water with a buckets and a Dutch angle. Man, do I hate Dutch angles. What, is the world tilting this way? I don't understand that. All right. Because I don't understand that, I'm going to straighten that out. I'm going to go ahead and use this angle tool. We can see that the horizon is right here. We're going to draw a line and let it go right there. Voila. A heck of a lot better. Do you see that? I'm not a fan of Dutch angles. Why would you tilt your camera like this, especially for a shot like this? The horizon is gonna look like this. That doesn't work. You know the ocean isn't tilted this way. If it did, all the water would run out of it. Then there'd be no water over there. All right, so let's go with this. This is gonna be a very silhouetted type image. I can see that right off the bat. I'm gonna wanna punch up the colors because we don't have to worry about the person because they are silhouetted. Boom, boom. I'm really going boom. Okay, I want to do this. Go with my vibrant saturation. Pump that up. Yes. Let's cut back highlights. Boom. Bring down the sky a little bit. There's a couple of ways we could do this. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God, that's just so much better. You could also do something along these lines. Uh, probably if the person wasn't there, we could, uh, we could play around with this. Let's see. Mmm. Just gonna play with this and see how we got it. Because I like a little bit, because I like darkening that up because it makes it seem like it's getting darker quicker. Um, so we're gonna get back out of this, get back to develop. Let's play with our white balance. See where we want it. Yeah, making that sky go boom. Making the purples come out. Actually, I think it is a little too green. Let's get some of that tint in there and get it. Oh yeah, I want those purples. I want those purples. I like the reflection that's going on here. Oh my God, look at, the, look at how much it was cropped in terms of how much it had to crop just to account for the crookedness of the image. Now, if we went in even further, let's see if this is gonna detract from the image or make it that much better. What I would do if I was shooting it tighter. Because we do want the sky in there. This time I want them right in the middle. And I also don't want to get rid of the person's face. We have that face. I say face. Of course you can't see their face. I meant the, uh, the, the reflection in the water. So we've got this as an option. Save this as a snapshot one. Let's see. Going back. That. Then let's go back to the crop. Boom, I'm gonna live with this crop. Now let's go see how saturation, mm, you don't wanna go too far over the top. If you go too far over the top, it's gonna look fake. I'm, I'm bordering on that, oh, but I like it so much. I like those colors and make it even crunchier. I know there's no haze in this, but dehaze has become a favorite thing to give me even more crunch. Maybe too much crunch, too much Captain Crunch. All right, we're gonna go, oh God, that looks great. Look at the colors on this, super nice. Just checking for any issues in the sky with dust. I'm not seeing any. We've got a nice contrail up there. Let's show you something right here with the saturation. We've got our orange slider. I don't like the orange. I actually like the orange, so we're not gonna get rid of it. I don't wanna go too far. Don't wanna make it too fiery, but just a little bit right there. I want my purples. Mm. That's if we pulled them out. That's if we put a little bit more in. We also have the blue. We're saturating it. We're gonna go like this. I wanna see this full screen. That is a winning shot. Very nice job, Jared, on editing. I must, I must pat myself on the back. Actually, it's just, it, it was a good image to start with, and having the DNG, the raw file, to pull it out is great. The only thing was just that crookedness. It looks so much better straight. 
This is what you want to see. You want to see the horizon straight. You want to go like this. This is something you want to try and get right in the camera so you don't have to worry about cropping after the fact, which is taking away those megapixels, which is taking away from the quality of the image, which is going to limit the amount that you could actually enlarge it. But this is a solid picture. I want to see what direction Steven's going to go with this, and let's get on to seeing that. Let's see what we have. Huh. This is a really nice image, a beautiful silhouetted sunset, and I really like this one a lot, actually. The only thing I don't like is the crazy Dutch angle that this photographer, this must have been like a last minute snapshot for it to be this extreme. Um, so first thing I think I'm gonna do is, I really like, I really like the mirrored image between the water and just the man on top of the water. Uh, so I think I'm gonna crop this into a vertical image instead of a horizontal image or horizontal that Jared would say. So we are going to hit the X key and I am gonna bring my crop in slightly and definitely fix that horizon for sure and straighten that out. And I think I'm gonna put him, hmm, this is the tough part. Do I want the horizon directly in the middle or do I want him in the middle? That is the hard part. I think I'm gonna go more for the horizon in the middle of the image. And I'm gonna have his head also on that top third. Uh, so we're gonna make sure this is perfectly straight or at least as straight as I can be during this quick edit. Uh, I think that's pretty straight. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, so first I'm definitely gonna make this just, I'm gonna keep it a silhouette. I'm not gonna go nuts on the shadows and show who this guy is, which definitely a fisherman of some sort. Uh, so I am going to actually go the opposite way and bring these shadows down, again, just to silhouette him out. Uh, do I want to go all the way down, or I still want to keep that reflection a little bit at the bottom of the lake or river or ocean, wherever this is. Um, Exposure-wise, I think I'm going to first mess with the highlights, because I want to see how the sky turns out. I'm going to go about negative 25 or so on that exposure. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe bring it down just a tad to expose that sky a little better. And from here, I'm gonna again hold my Alt Option key to double check and see if there's any pure white spots in the image. And maybe bring that down just a hair. I think that looks pretty good. Blacks, I'm gonna crush it a little bit again because I wanna have this more of a silhouetted image. Uh, clarity, hmm. the midtones look pretty good in this image. Do I wanna go a little crunchy or do I wanna pull back a little bit? Make it more of like a painting. Um, I think I'm just gonna stay right in between and go my usual around five to 10 for uh, clarity. Uh, contrast, I think I'm gonna bring that up too to about say 20. Uh, vibrance, I'm gonna definitely bump this up because you want to see every little aspect of this sunrise. It looks gorgeous. And I don't wanna go nuts on the saturation because I don't wanna look too fake. Um, so I'm gonna go about right there. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna keep it point curve. Do I want linear or do I want, I think I'm gonna just stick with uh, linear and do my normal uh, subtle, subtle S curve as far as the tone curve goes. Um, where I just bring the highlights up just a hair. Same with the lights and the darks, I'm gonna bring up a little bit and crush those shadows. Again, a very, very subtle S curve if you wanna call it. Um, color, let's see, definitely some orange, yellows, and blues, everything you see in that sky. I wanna do something with. Uh, the hard part is debating how much to go. Do I wanna go over the top? Or do I wanna just make it look a little more realistic? And do I wanna mess with the hue? The hue I think I'm gonna keep just at zero, how it looks in the camera. Uh, yellow, let's see how much yellow we have. I just wanna move these sliders all the way to the right, all the way to the left, just to really see what I'm adjusting in this image. Uh, there's really no green in the image as far as aqua goes. It looks like there's nothing. Uh, let's see, blue. We've got a bunch of blue in the sky, obviously. I'm gonna bring that down just a hair to almost match and mirror the lake on the bottom, kind of like a gradient. Um, so I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Let's see, purple in the image. Looks like there's some uh, in the clouds, but I kind of want to bring that out because I don't know how natural that looks in the image. And do I want to bring that down? No, I think I'm gonna keep it there. Magenta, also a little bit in the clouds. I don't know if that's a chromatic aberration issue or if that's just purple in the sky or uh, magenta in the sky. Let's see, go back to yellow. I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna to toggle this on and off just to really see what color we adjust. It looks like it's more just the top, a gradient effect on the sky. Detail, I'm gonna do my normal sharpening, which is roughly about 50, keep the radius the same. Detail, I'm gonna stay there. 
masking, I'm gonna hit my Alt Option key to see what I'm affecting in the image. And I really, for a landscape image, I'm just gonna mask it just a tad because I want the whole image almost sharpened. Noise reduction, I'm gonna keep that at zero. It was only shot at ISO 400. Uh, color noise, I think is fine too. I'll leave all that standard. Oh, let's see, what else does this image need done to it? Uh, do I want lens correction on or off? I think I like the subtle vignette, so I'm gonna keep that off. Now, as far as dehazing go, will this actually bring back, oh man. Now that, that looks awesome. I love the dehaze slider because it adds a very natural looking contrast to the entire image. Speaking of contrast, I think I'm gonna tweak that a little more too to really make him uh, completely silhouetted. So I'm gonna hit the L key twice to have the light box and see what it, the image looks like. And I think, I think I like that. I wanna double check that he's really in the center of the image. I think I might move him over just a hair and also make sure my horizon's directly in the center too. I think that looks pretty good. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it just at that. So yeah, there's my edit. All right, so we have both edits on both of these computers. Steven, let's get the reveal going. Three, two, one, and boom. Ooh. I, I oh man, <laughs> right off the bat, I love yours way more. Do you? I mean, yes. I, I like the contrast, yes. I like your crop. I do like well, the way that that looks. If we were to combine them, because I do like the crop more, but I love your oversaturated. It looks really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank I usually you. don't like going oversaturated, but it looks more like a poster print, like a it, glossy finish. Well, it looks nice. my whole thinking behind it is it's a silhouette. You're not going to see the person anyway. Might as well boomify it to all, you know, all levels that I could yeah, with, without making it go too over the top. I mean, it's over the top. It's over the top, but it looks good. I, I like the way that, oh my God, could you imagine how unstraight this image was? Ah, such a Dutch angle. I was like, oh my God, I'm what sure are you, you doing that. to me? Yeah. Um, I, I see what you did. I think if you took my edit yeah. and boomified yours. Your saturation and contrast. Which, which you could do with my corrections. If we were in the, the DNG file, have, we could copy the correction over to yours. You have to sync that over after this. Yeah, that's something that we could po also do. Anything else? Great image. I really like the image. Yeah, it was That's a cool shot, except for the Dutch angle. Yeah. Uh, other than that, this is a, again, this is an image that you could take many different ways. You could, you could do a lot of different things. Black and white, probably not one of those, but I like the edits that we have here. Of course, I like my boomified. What do you guys like? Do you like my edit? Do you like Steven's edit? Do you like something in between? But even better than saying whether you like ours or mine or his, you can download this DNG file for yourself and do your own edit. Go over to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030, download the DNG. If you don't have Lightroom, well, don't worry. You can download a free copy of Lightroom right on that site and you can get editing for yourself. So nice job, Steven. You too. All right, that's it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.